When you hear the name Midwest Industries, maybe you're like me and you think awesome AK accessories, accessories for lever guns, all kinds of stuff. But let me tell you, they make a really great AR-15. Let's take a look. What's up guys? We are here today to talk about Midwest Industries ultra lightweight AR-15 with a Criterion barrel. But before we get into the gun, let's talk about Midwest Industries a little bit. So Midwest Industries was founded in 2003 and one of their biggest mottos, mantras, what's most important to them is that their stuff is made in USA, right here in the United States. It is a very, very important thing for them. Everything down to the fasteners is made right here in the US. So another thing that they're known for is their warranty. It is awesome. Their customer service wants to make sure that your stuff is right. So we actually found Midwest, Midwest Industries by looking for AK parts and accessories, which we'll put some videos up here of that stuff. Uh, but I really wanted to get my hands on one of their AR-15s and see if their whole gun was as good as their parts and accessories. So we have the ultra lightweight AR-15. It does have a Criterion barrel. And guys, it's actually much easier to tell you what isn't from Midwest Industries on this. So we're gonna throw a list up on the screen now of what on the weapon actually is theirs. The only things that are not Midwest Industry is we have a chemo brake, we have an optic, it's a Radian charging handle, and we have an SB tactical brace. Even the trigger is theirs. So let's take a closer look at this. Um, so the DI system is Midwest Industry. Uh, the upper, the lower, the BCG, the handguard, which has the Picatinny removed on top, so it's M-lock, helps with weight quite a bit. The hardware in the handguard is also titanium. The gas tube, gas block, the sights, it's all of them. So enough about this beauty, let's go run it. Okay, so we've been running this all day just to see if it functions well, and I can tell you that it has. Um, I have a couple of mags with about 10 rounds in it each. I just wanna show you how well balanced this is. Uh, the spring system, the gas system, the buffer weight, it is all straight from the factory, out of the box. We have not messed with any of it. Uh, additionally, as a southpaw on a lot of my ARs, I will put a PDQ or I specifically will look for ambi lowers, but we're gonna leave this one just how it is from the factory. So let's run this a little bit. Okay. Okay, weapon is clear, that range is fine. Okay. All right, I gotta do this. Okay, clear. So we've been running this thing all day. And I do wanna give you guys a disclaimer. It is 103 degrees in Texas. That's the actual temperature, not the feels like. The feels like is closer to like 110, 111. It is brutal out here today. Uh, but she ran like a dream. We didn't have any malfunctions. Uh, it's super lightweight too, which I love. Um, we're running this one kind of bare bones with just the optic, but even when you throw a light or a laser or anything else on here, it's gonna be nice and lightweight. I think we forgot to suppress it. Let's go do that. Okay, so let's shoot it suppressed. I have a micro chemo break on. Weapon is clear. Okay. Okay. All 
All right, let's see how much gas we get back from the 12 inch barrel. Okay, so I knew we were missing something. Obviously she ran great suppressed. Um, I did want to make a note. This does have a Criterion barrel. If anybody had any questions about accuracy, um, Criterion has a great barrel, but we're not the channel to break down all the specs and figures. There's lots of wonderful information out there, uh, but that's not our channel. What we do is we run things like crazy for long periods of time. So in a few months after we've run this, this hard and different weather and different configurations, things like that. We'll report back to you guys and give you an update about functionality or if we had any failures or anything like that, but this is looking really good. So we hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.